Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am spiritual guide and paranormal adept. I've been doing my work since, well, literally since I was born, but it became public knowledge when I was 10 years old. I've been watching this whole situation we've been going through for a very long time. Quite frankly, in, a, in about a week now, it'll be, it will literally be, what, 47 years that I've been doing this. And I've come to one very clear understanding recently. We are dealing with a massive problem here called, that people have called a pandemic. Virtually every government for the first time in recorded history is on the same page. Maybe not in the methods they're using, but in the terminology of this is a global pandemic, meaning it applies to everybody. It's affecting everyone. No matter what your religion, no matter what your gender, your age, your, your orientation, your political alignment, your financial income, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what your career is. Everybody on the planet. Now, ironically enough, this goes way beyond what affects what affects humans, okay, or the dominant technologically advanced, you know, sentient organism. This, you know, this pandemic, is, in all fairness, affecting everything: plants, animals, the landscape, people. It is affecting the entire planet. Now. You don't have to believe in anything at all as far as what the cause is. We have come to a very simple point in life. Very complicated, but very simple at the same time. COVID-19 is affecting everything we know. Okay. Now, I could go into a much deeper venue on that, but the, the reality is this. A pandemic affects everybody. Okay, in this case, it affects the animals and the plants on the planet as well. And we will explain all of that, but let's get to the first point. The pandemic. There is a second pandemic that has become very, very clear. And that is the addiction to money. The addiction to control. But let's call it, the, let's stick with the addiction to money. That's the big one. Now, the reason I call it an addiction to money is because from the number of people I've talked to over the years, and especially recently, everybody is talking about we have to get the economy running. We, they've come up with all kinds of reasons, virtually every excuse on the book. Okay, and I'm sure there's a few that have been missed, but the reality is they come up with, with all kinds of reasons in their own heads. You come up with yours, it may be the same as somebody else's, but here's why I call it an addiction. Everybody knows that people that are addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, you can tell them what is going sideways with it, how it is damaging the people and the plan the, and the situation around them, how it's damaging themselves. You can give them every practical answer, every point that you can think of. And they always come back around to, I need my fix. Everybody is coming around. I shouldn't say everybody. There's, there's invariably a, there's invariably a, a, an exception. Okay. But ask yourself this. When you look at the way people are looking at money and the economy, how many different, don't count them, just think about it. Look at the number of different reasons people come up with and the reasons why they should be an exception to the law or to the rule. Okay, why it doesn't apply to them. I would love to say that COVID-19 hasn't affected me. It has affected me in great way, in a great many ways. But the addiction aspect is this. People talk about the economy getting up and running, but the reality is the economy is different. It's not going back to the way it was. But people are still buying things. And a great increase in mail order. 
a great increase in delivery. Okay. Granted, stores are closed and people aren't driving as far. Oh my gosh. Problem the problem with that. Don't drive as far. Not as much pollution in the air, and the animals are affected. They are able to come back. Okay, you don't end up with the with the toxins in the air killing off the plants. Okay, now people have, keep coming up with this brilliant idea. We need to get back and back to the way things were. The way things were was toxic. Okay, much like drugs are toxic. Okay, and I haven't found a way to actually make those actually look good. Money does have its points, and I do like my creature comforts. Don't and don't get me wrong. If it weren't for technology and the economy, I could not have my coffee. It's that simple. Am I addicted to it? By definition, no. If I don't get it, I'm still the same grumpy individual I always have been. Okay. If I you know if I get if I don't get it, I don't get migraines. I don't sleep less. If I get coffee, I don't sleep more. I don't get any in any better of a mood. It, really doesn't have a whole lot of effect. I just like the flavor of it more than I like the flavor of water. Now, here's the thing. Every reason I've heard all comes down to one thing. I want my money back. I've lost so much because I've lost my money. Okay, I feel so much worse. I'm having mental complications. I'm stressed to the gills because I don't have my money. Okay. This is what is called an addiction. When you have to have something in order to feel better, in order for things to make sense, it's called an addiction. Okay, now you can call it what you will, but I believe it was Shakespeare, and I might be mistaken on this. The, the, I believe the way he put it was, a rose by any other name will smell as sweet. Okay, now... The, the odd part about it is that people don't seem to get this. Now, I have done my best. I've followed the, the guidelines that other people have suggested, and they have backfired in a very big way for me. So, I've come to the conclusion that that isn't working. Best be altering direction. But, the, and the world has a massive a massive pandem pandemic, a massive addiction to money. Now, it's easy to see when you're looking at other people, especially when you look at the modern world. Okay, children and adults alike, quite frankly, seem to be seem to be addicted to to pixels. Okay, to computer games. Now, I have seen this in my own son, in people, in multiple people that I've connected with. Okay. They have to have, and I've heard it turned as they have to have their gaming fix. Guess what? That's also known as an, addic an addiction. Well, people have to have, they go, they need their coffee fix, that sort of thing. I'm lucky I don't. Okay. But... If we don't alter the way we're doing things, the world will go back to where it was. The animals will disappear, the plants will die off. Now, thus far, I've heard certain things, such as, for the first time in decades, apparently Italy has has dolphins back in the back in the in the shoreline where they haven't apparently, like I said, had them for decades. This is a side effect of cutting down on the amount of, of interaction, of the amount of mobility that people have been having. Now, here's the thing. People are starting to open businesses up again. Primarily, it seems, because of pressure from the population to the governments. Now, this is categorically a bad move, and here's why. People are quoting the fact that the that the you know that the addiction that the number of addictions are are uh, the, the number of infections are declining. Well, it stands to reason. If you don't go around people, the virus can't spread. We've discussed this before. You open the doors to business and you get people out interacting again. 
people are not by nature going to go, oh, I'm going to keep my social distancing. Meaning they will get back together, the virus will jump back to people and back into an increase again. You would have thought that people would have figured this out when China made the same mistake. Okay, they were down for a couple of months, the numbers started to drop, and they turned around and went, oh, let's start opening things up again. Brilliant idea, they got hit worse than before. Now, I cannot, and I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to look into it, I cannot quote how many people are where or which country did what. It really is irrelevant. Okay, in a, in a lot of ways. The fact of the matter is that COVID-19 is here. Okay, and if we continue doing the kind of thing we're doing, it will get worse. Now, again, my hat's off to the frontline workers that are still trying to protect people in spite of themselves. But the issue of opening up the opening up the businesses again, you may just as well be pour, pouring kerosene onto a fire or gasoline onto a fire in a hope that you can put it out. This is not going to end well. Now, you can call it fear mongering if you want. I've been called a lot of things, but the one consistency here is when I've seen something like this, <coughs> excuse me, when I've seen something like this and I've spotted a pattern, sad to say, and I can quote, quote past successes I've had, and then people come up with the idea that, oh yeah, but that's in the past, you know, that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, it really doesn't. The fact is that right now, businesses are starting to open. People are starting to relax because the virus, because the virus has had less cases. You know what? This is very much like an addiction. The majority of people that are on some sort of medication to help with an addiction, or some sort of a therapy to help with addiction, the majority of them will go. After a little bit of medication, after a little bit of a routine, i.e., we've been at this for about a month and a half, two months, give or take, I lose track of time myself anyway. But people with addictions take their medication for a couple of months and then go, I feel better, so I don't need the medication anymore. What they seem to fail to, to observe for the most part, except in, in my case, I know of one person, one of all the people I've met, that looks in the mirror and goes, they they have a they have a problem with an illness, and they look in the mirror and go, I feel better because I am on my medication. Now, those of you that are that are pushing so hard to get back to business the way it was, to get back to getting your money back, okay. You're looking at it, quoting the fact the virus is coming down. And understand, again, there are people that aren't. But there is a staggering number of people that are going, the virus numbers are down. Therefore, you know, i.e., we feel better. As a society, we feel better. So, we can stop doing the medication thing. And we can turn around and get back to business. This is addiction talking. You're addicted to money. You may not like the term. You may think, oh, I'm, I'm not addicted to anything. I'm not debating. You may not be addicted to drugs. You may not be addicted to alcohol. I hope not, anyway. Been there, done that. But you are addicted to money. If you're pushing to open, the bus open businesses up again at this point, going, the numbers are down. Well, the numbers are down because the restrictions have been put in place. Okay, that is akin to we feel better because we've been using these medications. We've been using these guidelines. We've been using these therapies. We feel better. So, let's get back to work. We'll ignore the medication. We'll ignore the treatment. And we'll go back to work the way we were. And you can bang your bottom dollar. Talk to any 
an addict who would, and that he is actually trying to get off drugs or out, off alcohol. Talk to any addict you that you've come in contact with. And you will find they go through the same thing. They take their therapy, they take their medication, and then because they feel better, they stop. And oftentimes it's the case that they stop because they forget about it, because they feel better, they don't think they require it. Okay. Which is a great idea, except for the fact that whatever was causing the addiction, whatever they were trying to hide from to start with, hasn't corrected, hasn't been corrected. The same applies to you. Okay, society has fallen apart. Okay, what was being built, first of all, is no more. You know, people, many people, myself included, have taken a look at the way that life was going and gone, I'm not happy with certain things. So, change them around. The big difference in this case is some people out there, thankfully, have got the message that the way things were being done was not working. Okay. And therefore, they've taken a look in, in their own world and gone, not happy, going to change that. You have to start with yourself. And we are going to get into that. Okay. Because I am putting out more and more videos. That is not going to stop. There are changes I'm making to the way I'm doing things now. But that's personal choice because I found I've got little real functional method, functional reason to. But the reason the numbers, assuming you can that you can believe the numbers at all, the reason they are down, that people are talking about the numbers being down, is because the therapy was being used. People were keeping their distance. People were keeping and were were staying away from the causes. Now, some of the businesses, <clears throat> some businesses are easy to transfer into distance. Okay, welcome to the new world. You know, people talk about the new world order. Well, this is the new world order in a different way of looking at it. This is just plain the new world. The therapy was working. It was bringing the numbers down. It was revitalizing the atmosphere. I heard somebody out of out of uh, California, and probably many other cities, you know, things like places like L.A., New York, where the air quality is climbing. Well, you know, if you don't have millions of people driving all over the place, you don't have millions of pounds of of pollution into the air. I mean, it stands to reason. If cars don't run, you don't end up in with with the pollution. This, again, affects people that are having trouble breathing to start with, okay? If you cut the pollution down, if you improve the air quality, okay, now watch the pattern here. People are all together. You've got illnesses all over the place. You've got animals and plants dying all over the place in record numbers, okay? People are absolutely miserable. You've got crime all over the place. You've got... People that are struggling to survive. Now, granted, there are people at the same time that are doing extremely well. They're doing very financially well. Take a look at one of the big things with the industry. Okay, industry got moved out of your neighborhoods into, into the less developed countries. Okay, because they could pay the people less, again, because the people running the factories could make more money by paying people less to do their work. Again, this is an addiction. Find any way you can to get your money. Okay, any way at all, be it legal, be it walking on people, doesn't matter. And yes, closing factories down locally in order to open them up elsewhere where you can pay less means you are completely neglecting the people in your neighborhood. Okay, or in the neighborhood of the factory you have. You ship it overseas to people that you're paying pennies on the dollar to get to do the same work because they don't have an option. You know, 10 cents on the dollar is, you know, 10 cents a, an hour is a heck of a sight better than no money. Now, money is strictly a barter system. Money is not the root of all evil. 
okay, we have industries that have moved out of the out of their primary locations because the owners of the of the industries, the owners of the factories, could make more money. You have religions that are asking people for donations, going, "We know you that you're that you're hurting out there, but there's people on the other side of the world that need money too, and it's our duty to take care of them." Well, much as it is, it's also your duty to take care of the people that are local. Now, I could go on with a lot of different things, but the bottom line is this. Give me more money so I can get my stuff. I'm going to do whatever I can in order to make certain that I get more money. I know I pay you, you know, 14 bucks an hour. It's not much, but I can pay them 10 cents an hour. Meaning I can make $13.90 an hour more myself. I took off the overhead by, by putting you completely in the poorhouse. Now I'm going to go over to a country, give them 10 cents on the hour. Because I can, and 10 cents is still better than nothing. But money is a barter system. People are addicted to money, and it is frankly more devastating than COVID-19 ever will be. Okay, so we have to understand that when I talk about it being an addiction, I'm not saying money is wrong, money is, is bad. Money is a barter system. And as I've mentioned before, in the old days, it used to be cattle that you, that you moved around. Okay, the cattle barons were the ones that had the money. Now, it's the, the industrialists. The people that have the factories, the churches. And churches aren't industry, but they are involved in a lot of it. But now that's where the money, where the where the big barter is. The more money you have, the more buying power you have. Used to be the more cattle you have. Well, for me, it's real simple. I can carry a dollar around in my pocket a lot easier than dragging a, a cow around. Okay, things do change. And I do encourage you to talk to the to the seniors that lived through the Great Depression. Okay, and most of those are pretty much on the sad to say, but after a hundred years, you know, let's say well, a hundred years, no, and yeah, I guess it's getting close to that now. History was never one of my strong suits, but talk to the people that have been through these setbacks. Talk to the ones that lived through the Holocaust. All of these things pass into history. Okay, society has changed, but the one thing that clearly has not to me, COVID-19 is going into a lull right now because the treatment was working. The one thing that did not go away is the addiction to money. Now, like I said, I like my creature comforts. I like having a roof over my head and clothes to wear. Okay, call me modest. I, you know, I don't need a... A multi-million dollar mansion. Now the people that have multi-million dollar mansions, more power to them, that's what they like. Understand something very simple. Yes, the value of your property may have dropped by a staggering level for you. I've heard tales where properties that used to be worth a million and a half have dropped to seven hundred thousand dollars. But the one thing they didn't drop is their roof is still solid. Your walls are still there. Okay. The only time the value of your property really becomes, from a financial standpoint, really a critical issue, is if you're planning on selling it. Okay. You may not have to have to drive two car cars anymore. Because of the, of the treatment to COVID, the isolation factor, many people have transferred home. Well, you don't have to have two cars if, you're, if you, nobody is leaving the house to work. Okay, these are things to consider. But the big thing from my standpoint is real simple. The addiction to money has not decreased. This much is obvious by the number of people that, I, that I've heard of and the number of people that I get told are talking about we need to get the economy back up and running. The economy is still running. Can you not go to the grocery store still? Yes, there are restrictions, but can you not go there and buy your food? Can you not pick up a, uh, a phone 
and talk to somebody. The modern day, the modern economy, or the modern technology enables you to sit and talk to people and still see them. Now, granted, you cannot see them, you know, you can't physically touch them. And that will, in time, get back to the point where it can be done. But, the big problem, and I'm going to say it again, I've said it multiple times already. Okay, COVID is a, is a pandemic. It affects the entire world. The people, the animals, and the plants. The entire world. For the first time in recorded history, virtually every government out there is agreeing this is a pandemic. It affects the world. Okay. It is time to start working with the treatment because the treatment is what is making things better. You don't have to agree with it. Just look at the logic. Do your own research. In the meantime, okay, watch for watch for what's coming up. As I've mentioned before, I will be doing more of these videos. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and pass the word. Pass it to everybody you know, okay? Because this message has to get out. The addiction to money has got to come to a close. People have to realize the people and the, and that the people are important. The plants, the animals are the critical issue. What makes up this world? Now, this is a pandemic that has had even bigger impact already than what the Black Death, the bubonic plague back in the middle 1300s did. Okay, this is the first time that all of the world is directly affected by the same thing and the side effects of the same thing. So, I will encourage you in spite of businesses starting to open, keep your distance, keep things to a minimum. Okay, stay focused on the fact the treatment is working. Okay, now I'm going to leave you with this for a little bit. But until we talk again, take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.